What's up guys? Welcome back to some more Simpala Palahanes. Even though that it's technically not the name of the game, then you guys told me because I mentioned it one time to actually rename the entire series to Simpala Palahanes. Also, why are we already moving? I haven't touched anything yet. Oh well, no harm, no foul. Group number one should be activating the lights and the engine and everything else. So, playing around with this before, I kind of got the sense that it was a helicopter, but not really a helicopter. Uh, it said something on the page about being a gyroplane slash gyrocopter. So I guess that's this type of aircraft. Well, it's pretty slow, but it's actually doing a really good job. Uh, maybe I should do something here. Is that is that something... That's gonna help me or, or crash me like I honestly don't know there are not a lot of controls onto the page But maybe I have missed something I should probably read up on these again Oh, so I just read up on the control page and he actually cheated with the main rotor It's only supposed to look realistic, but it, it can actually fly without it This was also my suspicion because it's not really doing that much of well anything up there But either way is given the speed we may be able to build up just slightly coming down here I am very very worried about the two stunts in this test like again i don't know if the drag and the weight is going to be light enough to maybe get it around because the drag from what i at least have been told makes it a lot slower right so you want to make sure that you maintain the speed and at the same time do the two stunts in this test with absolute levels of awesome all right so we are just technically a little bit below the height but like i've told you guys before i don't really care about that if it's below if it's above then it's a whole other ordeal uh this well we're kind of coming out just a little bit Again, now I'm actually more worried about the altitude. You know what? We seem to have mastered the loop. How's about the roll? This is going to be interesting. Oh, that is super, super slow. See, it always seems to me that the planes and helicopters and whatnot are getting pulled down a lot more when we're doing the roll. So just pull up now. Yes. Oh, my God. That was so close, but I freaking did it. And just for those of you who are newcomers to the channel, then we do a true stuntiness test. And a true stuntiness test is basically considering of a loop and also a roll from each vehicle. And if it's a plane and it has a high enough vertical stabilizer, then I can also try to scrape that on the water surface and not crash at the same time. And then there is the landing, of course. So for this one, we have two out of three. I'm just gonna try to pull the VTOL back. Uh, does that even do anything? <laughs> I'm not too sure if it does. Again, I couldn't really see anything about that on the page. How about up? Uh, it seems to me it's a little bit fond of going to the right when I put it up. So you know what? I don't know what it does. Super sorry to the creator, but I'm just going to keep it in the middle. All right. Well, I was worried that we weren't going to make it up here because it was actually very low and I was losing a bunch of speed. But that's okay. So let's just deactivate the engine there in general and also deactivate group number one just to make sure that everything is as it should be. Landing gear is already extended because I never retracted it. I don't think it can. Uh, no. No, it can. Did I just say no, it can? Oh, well, either way, let's land this one right here. So, oh, go down. Go down, goddammit. Whenever I go down and I release the uh, pitch down key, it automatically goes up. So that's a little bit strange, but everything should be okay. Nice and gentle, coming in for the landing. Yes, beautiful. All right, guys, we're going to move on from something very small to something rather huge. This one is really, really big. And I love how the landing gear is actually multiple wheels on either one, just because it is so freaking huge. But either way, let's start it up. Uh, I don't hear any thrusters. That's a little bit weird. Okay, well, landing gear in and let's take off. Oh my god, you know what? For such a huge creation, and I know that I have flown literally less than 10 seconds with it, but it feels very good. Well, now it's only a matter of getting into the strict height. There we go. Let's start off with the roll this time, just to make things a little bit differently. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Keeping it very steady. It's not like it's losing much of the pitch. Just a little bit, but that is okay. It's fixable, so that's good. Okay, so just below 1200, that is okay. That is sort of the maximum to the, uh, the height right there. So let's see how the loop goes. Oh my god, I just corrected it. It. You know what? I'm going to have to redo that. All right. Well, it's time to redo it because it was a schmuck and I helped it along the way. That's also what I was trying to tell you with the uh, the roll before with the helicopter is that I can actually not help any of these. Also for the newcomers who may not know about these tests in detail, then I cannot save these until they return to the original position. Uh, if it's even going to return to the regular position. Yeah, that's kind of what I saw coming. Well, I still have two tests to go because regardless or not whether these things actually fail, 
I can still try the other things, so let's see laning gear in there. And I guess the first thing to do is to get the vertical stabilizers, which is these back things right here, to scrape the water surface. Okay, very steady. Oh my god, when you see the reflection, you know it's about to hit the water. Oh god, okay, see, here I, I can help it. That's one of the differences. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it actually flew up again. But yes, that is amazing. So here I can help it, because I constantly need to pitch it to not go into the water. But we did it, which was pretty amazing. And just before I land, I can obviously also show you this. Oh my god, this is actually the first time firing this off, but that was amazing. Oh, look at that. Look at that trail. That is so freaking beautiful. So I guess, like, I don't remember the order of the guns, but I know that there's a bunch of guns on this one. Uh, the first one there is going to be the front turret, which we then, I believe, can control with uh, VTOL. What direction is that going exactly? So now it's shooting. Okay, so that's shooting more out. If I do this... Okay, so I can't shoot myself, that's good to know. But uh, action group number three also activates the back there, and then use VTOL to correct your shot to get more accuracy. And number four, right there in the front, as you can clearly tell, is a plasma cannon. So there's that, we got one, we got two, we got three, which is pretty much all of the numbers, and then number one, which we already shot off. Pretty cool weaponry, I gotta say. Alright, well it's time for the landing here. Landing gear is out. I also need to cut the engines, like, right away. Oh goodness, oh goodness, oh, okay. Everything is okay. Don't take off again. Don't take off. That's not what I asked you to. Come on. Stop your shenanigans. There we go. Let's just, uh, you know what, I'm gonna pitch down. Because I think and I hope that maybe that's going to help it with maybe just shutting down the speed a little bit. And we are now, uh, yes, there we go, below 100 miles per hour. I'm a little bit worried. Maybe we're not going to be able to break in time. I guess we're going to have to see. Oh, Lord, it was getting dangerously close to the hangar over there. But everything is okay. All right. Finally landed it, and it was absolutely awesome. You know what? One thing that I kind of want to see, though, is it? Oh, okay. No, it's not possible to blow up the buildings. At least not with those. Alright guys, so the next one up today is something I thought was a VTOL. Because it has the fan for it, right? Just dead in the center. I kind of thought this was a VTOL, but that is apparently not the case. Also, this one is an upgrade from a prototype that the creator has made earlier. This one features a much more sleek design and actual use of the prop and everything. So, yeah, I don't know what half of that means, but it said it on the page. So that is good. Alright, well, I guess we can try to take off. Yes, there we go. A little bit late, but that's okay, right? So one thing that I figured out while playtesting this is that it likes to tip down. Just very slightly. You see that? I'm not touching anything right now. Ah, now I'm touching something. <laughs> I obviously need to save it where I can. You know what? I'm gonna give this one just a little bit of a challenge. Let's try to half the true stunts in his test height, right? So 500, that is the roll right there. Okay, well, the roll is, is pretty flawless, I gotta be honest. Right, now I'm looking forward to the loop. Okay, so roughly 500, that is all good. And at this point, I cannot help it. Which is really bad, because it is it is very, very crooked. I'm just hoping that the loop is not gonna turn into something else, like a corkscrew, or a crash, or whatever. That would be so sad. But you know what? Everything is just fine. And that was halfway below the actual height that we're used to. Which is pretty good. Alright, so this one likes to pitch down. So what I'm hoping here is that it's gonna give me some form of support to pitch up. And it is, of course, exactly not doing that. But either way, let's see about those vertical stabilizers in the back there. I'm just really trying to keep a very very fine balance that was so freaking close come on come on just a little oh god damn it just a little bit more i hope there's not an island okay well that's far away i see a reflection over there we should be good for some time oh no no oh crap okay well it's about getting not the entire plane in there and just the vertical stabilizer so let me just try that one more time come on yeah but yes yes kind of you know what that is good enough for me i will take it all right just a little bit of a bonus test again outside of the two stunts in his test height and whatnot but just a little corkscrew um kind of more of a roll than the corkscrew but that went pretty good all right well i know it looks just a little bit crooked about what i'm doing but i'm trying to make this one go straight onto the landing strip let's kill the engine and the landing gear yes exactly it's gonna take over that is so good so now all i want to do is just break this one Again, not explode. That's something that I'm hoping to do with every single one of these creations in this video today. Ah, that is beautiful. You know, I'm a little bit disappointed that it's not a VTOL thing because I kind of thought that because of the fan in there. But still, it looks amazing and works pretty damn good too. All right, guys, next up today, just a little bit of a different thing than a plane. This is actually something of an AA tank. And this one is absolutely crazy. Just take a look at this, by the way. That is a fast freaking turnaround for this one. That is 
is super, super cool. So I'm just going to set this to neutral. This one right here. Oh, crap. Okay, not down because that is going to explode the thingy. But up, we can basically shoot our targets out of the sky. I guess action group number two. Oh, crap. Okay, well, action group number two explodes me and kills me horribly. I think I did something very wrong. Ah, see, here's the thing. I don't know if we have any cameras related to that. Uh, maybe this has something to do with it. But we do have two little missiles down here, or actually four. Two interceptors and two guards. Guardians. Anything air to ground? Uh, well, no, because we are not a plane. Well, I'm just a little bit confused about this one, because does it actually move? Like, does it even drive? I don't think it does. All right, VTOL up there. That is obviously also corresponding to the action group, so we can do something like this, right? But what I didn't show you before is action group number two before we exploded, which I think is... Yeah, okay, so that's this one. We can still... Turn that one around as well. And that is being fired, yes, right there. Action group number three. Again, this is going to be interesting. Uh, action group number three does not hold anything. So I say that we just go into... Wait, hang on a second. Yeah, I can't fire these yet. I think I need to fire these. So let's go into a dogfight. All right, so it's Vanadia Challenge versus Pigpen. I guess this tank here was based on some sort of challenge. Uh, you know, judging by the plane's missiles, I am a little bit concerned. Simply because we cannot move. But let's get into it. Uh, I seem to have a slight problem. <laughs> That's right, because if I go in here, I cannot actually... Yeah, exactly. Like, it's only available in sandbox mode, the locations feature. So, yay. This is going to be a great dogfight. I can still, you know, I can still activate group one <laughs> and just spray and pray in the hopes that we may take down the pig pen. Oh, good lord. This is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. See, what I was hoping was to start off on the ground and then shoot him with the interceptors and the destroyers and whatnot. But uh, this is, is not promising to be good. I'm about to die at any second now. Literally any second I could die. Either from exploding or from drowning. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, but I just cannot get this one to work for the life of me. Pretty cool tank either way, like, it's very, very good. And that main cannon is absolutely crazy, like, a ton of firepower on that. I even think it's gonna lose half its weight once that clip is emptied. But either ways, guys, let's move on to the next. And the next creation up today, guys, is the Ring of Death. This one looks very intriguing, but at the same time, it kind of worries me a little bit. Because this landing gear may or may not get cut off. Off when we turn this one on. I guess we're gonna have to see. And for those of you with a very keen eye, you may also notice that there is a bit of a glow around this one. I'm just gonna try to go, yeah, you can see that just slightly. You know what, I have an idea. If I just go into the uh, settings there, game settings, and I turn this one down, you may be able to see a little bit better. There we go. Anyways, nighttime videos, they are not good for YouTube. Like, just the general thing that YouTube does with the quality of the videos in terms of darkness, it's just not very good. But either way, let's see about this. I am hoping that that propeller is not going to turn on in... Oh my god, it's... Wait, what? It's not even cutting off. Okay, let me just control the speed there because the creator said you need you need to stay within a certain amount of speed when taking off. There we go. And now we can finally move on to 100%. All right, so first order of business is not to go into the water, not to go into the fucking water. Please don't... Wait, wait, what? Wait, hang on a second. This is not supposed to happen, I think. Okay, that is definitely not supposed to happen. Now just go sideways. <laughs> what is going on today? Well, we're, we're still going, so that's pretty good. It's a plane and a freaking boat. All right, so landing gear in. That is awesome. It was kind of stopping there for a little while, so I was a little bit worried that it may or may not have exploded, but everything is okay. This one actually looks pretty good and feels very good, too. So roughly at a thousand feet, here is the roll. The roll looks absolutely incredible. Can we do a triple one before we hit the water? Yes, we can. Of course we can. The pitch is a little bit slow, so I wonder about the loop. All right, so at about 1,000 feet, roughly, I'm going to start to initiate the loop. This one is going to be interesting because the torque from the propeller below is most likely going to scoot this one out, as it is right now. It's almost trying to do half a corkscrew, I want to say, even though that's technically almost not really a corkscrew at all. What I'm hoping here is that it's simply just going to return to the horizontal position so that we don't crash and everything is going to be fine. Okay, so we're coming down to the water, actually very, very hot. We're coming in hot. Everything is okay. Oh my god, look at that. That is so good. You know, I was very worried for a second, but at 650 feet... 
that's good enough for me. Okay, so coming in for the landing here, I'm just turning off my engines as we speak. I don't think this one has any air brakes, but that is okay. Uh, maybe that was a little bit too early. I'm actually just going to put on the speed again. On. Come on, move up. Move up. Yes, freaking perfect. And then cut it. Cut it. Just cut the freaking speed. Stop the propeller because I need the landing gear out. Okay, I don't want to explode. Uh, there we go. This should be a cool... Well, this... No. Just no. No. I try this one more time. Come on in there, buddy. And then simply kill the speed. Kill the speed. Make sure that we come in very, very delicately. Very slowly and very nicely. There we go. Oh, that's a suspension, though. And he said it was impossible to land. Well, in his defense, the creator, I never even retracted the landing gear. Because I tried this a bunch of times and it just did not want to work. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to some more Simpala Pala Hanes. I am still debating with myself whether or not I should actually call it that, or I'm gonna stick to simple planes. But yes, so these are some of the things that I have gotten sent to me from the email, and I think that that's a very good system. So if you want to send me any creations, the email is beardedplanes at gmail.com. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.